Hello, it's me James and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the bubble column item slash block in 100% survival Minecraft. Back in the day, we used to use this system right here to be able to obtain this item that I've got in my hand right now. And yeah, basically right now, this is not actually working, but we do have a really really simple method of actually acquiring these bubble column items so yeah this one is patch but the new version is simpler than ever we don't even need any redstone but before i show you the method and all of the items required to obtain this block in survival minecraft i want to do a little talk on some information regarding this item firstly you can't actually place these items down as you can see they always go back up however when you stand on it you kind of still can get the effect you can see these little part of cool effects still come in as i stand on it however they never really uh, go out your inventory one thing i did notice if for example you were to place one of these on a piece of grass for example yeah they actually do start going out of your inventory so let me do that again let me just get this piece of grass and uh yeah they start going for some reason when you put them on the grass i'm not entirely sure why if you were to do this on a flower you'd get the exact same effect oh i accidentally placed one there you can see oh damn that one looked like it was going crazy but yeah if you try to place them on the flower you'll get the exact same effect as the first one they actually don't go so uh yeah if you place them on the grass they go however if you place them on the flower for some reason they just don't go oh damn that's incredibly loud another important piece of information if you were to place these in water like this they do actually place in water but that means you lose them and the initial like block itself actually just disappears after a couple seconds so uh watch out if you're near water i mean i wouldn't really place them in there if you don't need to so i would say the main use for these bubble column item blocks is to of course put them in your illegal item museums these are quite sought after items of course they have been patched for quite some time and a new method has actually come to light as i said the main use i would probably say is to add them to your illegal museums like i've done over here now i've got the old method i'm probably going to add the new method once i can actually have access to simply survival again this is a uh, creative copy right now but here you go this is my old machine and inside here oh no here i've got a bunch of bubble column items and yeah this is the old machine what i like to do alongside the illegal i like to sometimes put the machine on how i was able to acquire the illegal in my museum as well so yeah i would say that is probably one of the greater uses for this you can uh, obviously add them to your illegals collection however i think there's a more practical use for this block of course it is really good to have in your illegals museum of course who doesn't want this in their illegals museum but like i said there is a bit more of a practical use apart from just showcasing it basically as i said earlier you can actually place them on the floor but they'll never disappear out of your inventory you can actually use this as a tool to jump a little bit higher so i'm going to use this house as an example if i stand just here right now and show you how high i can jump so i'm just hitting underneath that first piece of wood watch what happens when i actually use the bubble column now you have to have a nice little technique with this one and you don't want to be too close but watch what happens you can actually jump way higher and almost be able to jump on there earlier i was actually able to jump on there so hopefully i can get back on there for the video and that'll be really nice but like I said, they never disappear. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So you can see I literally was able to use these to get a higher jump and get on top of the house. Like I said, that is the only practical use I can think of right now. If you guys think of any more uses for this item, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'll be sure to update a video about it at some point. I mean, I won't do it straight away. But if there is any half decent uses, I will definitely mention them in a video at some point. So there we go. There's some information on the item itself and a couple of uses of course i think the main one for me would be my illegals museum although the extra jump is pretty decent to be fair as well now i'm going to show you all of the items that you are going to need to acquire this item so the items that you need to get this bubble column item are as follows you're going to need one piece of soul sand that is of course to make the bubbles with the water you're going to need one bucket of water as well both those combined will make a little bubble column in addition to this you are going to need some lanterns 
lanterns are the easier thing to use. Although lanterns are not the only thing that you could use. You could use some with the schools if you've got easy access to these. In fact, any mob head that you have, you could just use that instead of the lanterns. Say like you haven't got no lanterns, but I'm pretty sure these are a way easier to acquire than schools. So it's entirely up to you, whatever you have to hand like as soon as possible. And finally, you are going to want a pickaxe with silk touch on it. It does not need to be a netherite pickaxe. It could be a wooden one if you really want. I mean, I don't know for 100% sure, but I'll test it out anyway just to be uh, just to be sure anyway. But yeah, you're going to want a pickaxe with silk touch on it, and that is literally all of the items that you are going to need. That's it. So now I've showed you all the items that you are going to need. I'm going to tell you one more piece of information. Now, I did try this on a normal world, and I was unsuccessful at actually acquiring the block. However, I used a realm, I used my realm to upload this world, and once I uploaded it in a realm, I was able to get this block every single time. So what I put that down to is probably the realm lag. So I think it is 100% possible on normal worlds. However, you are going to need some kind of lag, maybe, to get this item. But right now, I will let you guys all know I am on a realm and this is 100% uh, working the best on a realm. I tried it the exact same way on a normal world without any lag. And yeah, I was unsuccessful. I was not able to get the item. But like I said, I didn't have any lag. So it's probably worth trying with some lags. Like I said, the realm lag will 100% help out, I believe. So uh, all we're going to want to do is grab the items. We're going to want to go anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to do it here. And basically dig two blocks down. We're going to place down our soul sand. And of course, the water on the soul sand. So we make a little bubble column like this, as you can see. And then it is quite as simple as placing down your lantern and mining the man the lantern from the bubble columns, all right? So you can see here, we've got no bubble columns on this. I didn't actually get it that first time. Let's place it down and we're gonna mine. And you wanna continue to mine afterwards a little second and that's when you get the bubble columns. You see that? So if you don't continue to mine, you don't actually get the bubble columns. But if you place it down and continue to mine, you actually get the bubble columns as well. And it is pretty consistent. I will give it that as well. It's way more consistent than the, than the old version of this that we had. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened there. But yeah, I'm definitely also convinced that it's to do with the lag, the realm lag that's uh, always on a realm anyway. So yeah, it's a, it's a really easy method, as you can see. All you got to do, make a little bubble column and then place yourself a lantern in that bubble column. And then as you go to mine it, you want to continuously mine. And that way you will get the uh, bubble column item. However, remember, if you don't continue to mine, you won't get the bubble column item. Again, I did say it works with Wither Schools as well. You can place down any mob head, should I say, and basically break it and continue to uh, yeah mine afterwards. You see that was a little bit slow. But if you don't continue to mine after, you don't get the uh, bubble column. But if you continue to mine afterwards like this, yeah, we can 100% get the bubble column item and yeah that is as simple as it gets guys simply place down a bubble column and then place down a lantern in the bubble column and mine it i definitely think the lantern's a little bit better as you can see between the lantern and the wither school it's a little bit harder uh to do the wither school purely for the fact that it takes longer to mine look and that time it actually didn't come out. Whereas with the lanterns, I think it's a little bit more of a success rate. I'm not entirely 100% sure. But I think it's a little bit more of a success rate. Oh, I accidentally broke the uh, soul sand. So yeah, I'd definitely choose the lanterns over the mob heads if I was you. And there we go. And that, my friends, is how to acquire this item in 100% survival minecraft so guys very quickly what i am going to try is the wooden pickaxe as i said before so of course we're going to need the wooden pickaxe we're also going to need to grab ourselves a silk touch book and an anvil as well and vil there we go and we're basically just going to equip this silk touch to an uh the pick very quickly like this all right and now i'm going to try it with the silk touch pickaxe of course i will go into survival for you guys so uh you guys know it's obviously legit and yeah we're gonna need some of those lanterns so let's place down the lantern and oh god it's so long yeah it's better to have a bigger pickaxe but as you can see let me just throw these away i was able to acquire a uh, bubble column so let me place that down 
And as you can see, yeah, even with a wooden pickaxe, I'm still able to acquire the bubble column. There we go. So, pretty nice. You can use any pickaxe you want, even a wooden one. You know what? I randomly had a silk touch shovel in my inventory. I'm going to go ahead and try it with the silk touch shovel. I think maybe it could work. Of course, it's going to take so long to do it. But potentially, you could actually do this with a shovel as well. Maybe. I mean, like I said, this is taking absolutely ages right now. But it'd be so funny if it actually works. I mean, maybe it will just destroy the soul sand straight away. Oh, damn, it actually worked. <laughs> so, the shovel works as well. Just any silk touch item. Of course, the pickaxe is going to be better because you can uh, break the uh, lantern faster, as you can see. It's pretty instant. And then we can get the block after. Although, if you use a wooden one, it takes ages. And if you use that, you're most likely going to break the soul sand underneath. So, yeah, there we go. Remember, guys, if you do not have this item right now in your survival world, do not wait around. This will probably get patched like the other version got patched. And uh, eventually, yeah, it's rejoined the game. So, it's pretty nice that it's back in the game. But I would definitely get on it ASAP so you can definitely get this item before it gets patched. Inevitably, it will get patched. They will fix this and uh, I don't know how soon it will be but I'm guessing it will be pretty soon so if you haven't got the item get the item right now that's all I've got time for I will catch you on the next one